welcome to Alice in the Wonderland. Today I wanted to talk about the question, are men funnier than women? It is always still discussed and in a lot of comedy clubs you still see more men than women on stage. So the question is, is it because women are just not as funny as men? Well, being a stand-up comedian myself and running an all-female comedy night that is about to open its 12th season, I somehow am always able to find funny women. Wow, ah, surprise! Oh my god! What? Brain explodes for some people here. No, but I had a lovely discussion. I love to have a good discussion with a sexist man because it just doesn't go anywhere. Is it because of our biological sex that we are just not as funny as men? Is that is that could that be? Is a certain skin color funnier than another one? Are black people, for example, funnier than white people? Or maybe are homosexuals funnier than straight people? I do think that lesbians are actually funnier than straight people. I actually was born straight and then I was so funny and then I was thinking, oh no, I'm really funny, I have to become a lesbian. Here we go. I didn't want to become a lesbian in the first place, but pff, what do you do? These men that put some statements on social media saying that actually women are not being booked by clubs because they are just not funny. They, these are not the first men who suggested that. Surprise! Surprise! Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin said that men are biologically more funny than women. The men species, they had to work much harder and they developed a lot of more skills than the female species because the, the men, they tried to fight over the women and the women are just passively sitting there, being relaxed, watching and choosing the right man. So they can focus on just giving birth and cooking dinner for all the other baby ducks, I don't know. After all, I mean, Darwin is the father of our evolution, right? He, he is like death. He gave birth to evolution theory. So we should take him seriously. But I think he was a little bit thick maybe as well. Because despite being the father of our evolution, he also married his first cousin. Yeah, oops. Ah, didn't know that. <laughs> and he had not just one child with her, he had 10 children with her. Yeah, and if we do think like he thought that women are not as funny as men biologically, then we should probably also marry our first cousins. <laughs> Maybe female comedians or women in general can't be funny because they don't talk about things that are funny. A lot of men talk about their penis. They're 50 years old, some of them, and talk about their penis as if this is the funniest thing in their life. I have a penis. I have a penis. Look at my penis. This is my penis. My penis does this. Oh, and my penis does this and my penis does this. We know you have a penis. Good for you. You have had this penis for 50 years. You should be okay with this now. Women, they don't need to talk so much about their vagina. We, we know it's there. We know the boobs are there and it's okay. They can be there. We don't have to say, oh, I have boobs. Oh, this is my left breast. Oh, oh, this is my breast. I have a breast, oh, I have a vagina too. Uh, guess what? There is a vagina in these pants. Oh my God, oh God, get me out of here. Good, we have genitals, wow. If women one time mention something that has to do with their bodies, then it's just like, oh God, oh, oh God. A woman is talking about her body, oh, it's so, so female topic. We can't go to that show. If I'm a man, I can't watch a woman talk about her body. Oh, menopause. Oh, no, I can't deal with menopause. Periods. Oh, ah, it's, I can't. I can't. Penis. Yeah, penis. Give me a penis. Penis, 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 penis. Get the penis out of my face. Oh, maybe I should talk about penis. Maybe that's what they want. Maybe if women talk more about penises, then people would find it funny. So if clubs, some clubs, they say, well, it is not that, that men are funnier than women. It's just that only 10% of women apply for gigs. 
compared to 90% of men apply for gigs. Therefore, it's easier to find funny men in the application and funny women. I feel so sorry for these bookers. We are in 2024, but they still seem to not have internet. <laughs> they don't have an internet where they could just Google female comedians. <laughs> Brain explodes again. <laughs> Oh, poor Darwin, he would have been dead by now. Google is a, a platform online where you can type in any questions and they come up with answers. Yeah, it is. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I am upset because it is just stupid. I don't understand. There is a list. Uh, Danielle Jones made a list and there are 400 professional female comedians all linked with their names for, to the website. And this list is available online. And this is just a small part of comedians that are out there in the UK. I think, if people think, if you think that women are not funny, uh, then you're a penis. <laughs> you know, poor clubs. I mean, oh my God, there are these famous clubs in the UK can't find female comedians. You know, they need our help. They need our help. It's you and me, we need to, post about female comedians, we need to send them links, we need to share female comedians, we need to like them, we need to improve their social media. So follow me on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. Oh yeah, I have, I have everything. <laughs> and if you're a funny woman, just uh, post your link with your video down here and then we can all be in a loop and all support each other. Thank you very much for listening and don't be a sexist and stop talking about penises and start talking about vagina, 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 boobs, breasts, vagina, breast, vegetable. Thank you very much for listening and please like, share and subscribe and follow me on Instagram on Alice Frick or Frick Alice. I've got, it's always so complicated with the social media links. Thank you so much for listening and hope to see you soon. Bye.